In today's demo, we're going to focus on AWS and the improvements that we've made for high availability in AWS. These improvements come with the VM series plugin for AWS 1.0.12. You look at this diagram, you'll see that what we're doing looks very similar. We have a floating IP for the untrust. We have a floating IP for the trust interface as well. So two big changes here. We're no longer doing Elastic Network Interface Hot Swap. And the reason we're not doing that is because ENI Hot Swap doesn't support DPDK. And we're also changing the route table in our trust side, which currently points to the active Elastic Network Interface. Upon failover, this will change to point to the passive, the current passive device. And I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So let's go and take a look at the Elastic Network Interfaces. First, we're going to take a look at the ENI for the untrust. You'll see here that we have the primary IP address, and then you'll see the secondary IP address for the untrust. Where this, where you see the correlation here is when we go into the active device, you'll see that we're using the untrust secondary IP for the source NAT rule here. And you have to do that as a slash 32. Um, not a slash 24, but a slash 32. So when we also go and take a look at um, the trust interface, you'll see the primary IP address and you'll see the secondary IP address. Now on my device, I don't have a destination NAT rule configured, but if I did, I would have the, second, the, the trust ENI secondary IP configured here within the destination um, address translation here for DNAT. So let's also go take a look at the route tables here. We'll go and you, you'll you see here, as we pointed out earlier, the ENI um, address here and the default route for the, the default route next hop is this ENI address. So if you look here, 16E8BC. So if we go to the untrust side here, um, zero, this is the untrust, and here's the trust interface. Wait, no, here is the trust interface right here, three. Where are we at here? VPC, 16E8BC. You'll see that that matches here. So let's go take a look within the network interface configuration on the VM series firewall. The interesting part here is that everything is configured for DHCP on the system side. So we don't go in statically and define any IP addresses. It's just done via DHCP. So you don't have to worry about this. The only thing you have to be cognitive of is how you configure it, because if you go in and check IPv4 and automatically create default route on both interfaces, you'll have two default routes and that'll cause a routing issue. Um, one of the important things that you have to note is you're going to need to create an actual um, role. So you're going to need to create an actual IAM role that will have the rights within AWS to move the secondary IP addresses and also change the next hop of the default route in the route table. So next, we're going to do a quick failover test here. Um, we're going to go in and manually suspend this device and call it the failover. You'll look here, you'll see this ENI address, and you can look and see the secondary IPs on the untrust and the trust as well for JPAWS HA1. So first we're going to go over to the active device and hit suspend. We'll go to the former passive device and you'll see that it is now taken over as being active. We'll go to the route table, here is the ENI, and we'll refresh. And you'll see that has changed that fast. This is literally how fast it works. So let's go to the network interfaces. We're on the untrust here. You see that IP address is no longer there. We go to the trust, look at the secondary. It's no longer there. So let's go to JPAWS HA2, go to the untrust, see the secondary there, and let's go to the trust. You'll see the secondary is there as well. 
So this is literally how fast AWS HA improvements allow for our convergence with the VM series and Amazon Web Services Cloud. If you would like to move forward with testing our AWS improvements for high availability, please contact your Palo Alto Networks account team.